All right, so hey guys, it's your boy Vandal, and I'm coming back to you with another video talking about how to draw big dudes. That's what we're gonna call it today. But before we get into this video, don't hesitate to hit the like button, don't hesitate to subscribe for more videos, and hit that bell when you wanna hear things that I have to say about drawing. So let's get into this. So I jumped ahead a little bit, and I started the skeleton. If you're not sure what the skeleton is, check out my other video on how to draw dudes or women. The skeleton is the basis for everything. I didn't draw the arms because today we're drawing a big dude, you know, the round fluffy guy that we all love to love. But I started out with the skeleton. I got all of my joints and the head piece together. I left the arms out because uh, there's a certain thing that I like to do specifically with the hands when I have a character that's a little bit more rounder and in the middle. Now we're gonna first turn down the opacity here. And with that, we're gonna work on putting in the details because I find that it's better to just get into it. So if you're not sure about how to do the skeleton, check out my other video. All right. So we're gonna start with the body because I find that's the most apparent part when someone's a little bit pudgier. So what we're gonna do is, well, let me lower, let me lower this down to seven. It's now seven. Oh, that's a little too skinny. Eww, let's put it on 12. All right. So now we're gonna have just basically similar anatomy before, like before with the dude. We're gonna draw a dude today. There's no specific character where this is from. I'm just gonna be drawing a character that's a little bit rounder. It's a challenge to myself and to help you guys understand how that anatomy works as well. One of the other things that tends to happen with dudes that are a little bit bigger, they have what you would call the boobs de men. Um, and I like to show it like this. There are many different ways to show it, but they tend to be almost like a little bit like breasts, but they're not, I would say that they're a little more saggier and not as nice. So I would leave it just like that. Now, the interesting part that we can look at right here is right around here is the spine, right? So in the spine, generally when you're a bit larger, you're going to have, uh, let's turn the opacity down a little bit more. I don't like how it's still too bright. That's some really dark lines. All right, generally with the tummy, it tends to be a little bit rounder. So just making him big like this doesn't really sell much. I mean, you can have characters of varying degrees of weightedness, but one of the important things to also understand right here is even though he is a bit larger, and he can be as large as you would like to make him. That's up to you. It's also understanding what's going on in the frame underneath, which is important. So we're gonna draw a line here to cut his waist off because we still have to deal with the hips and we have to deal with the legs later on. So I'm gonna do an outline for his, um, for his pelvic area. So what I like to do here is I'm going to start, since, it's, since he tends to be a little bit bigger than most, his thighs will also be a little bit big. Everything here you can think of as a little bit extra large type thing. So we're gonna have his legs and his thighs just about that big to give us a, a good idea of where we, how big our character is. So he's pretty big and that's perfectly fine. Now we're gonna bring down, just like we did before, the thighs into the knees because we have the kneecaps right around here. We're gonna do that with the left leg here and then we're gonna move on to the right leg here, moving it down. And then simply we'll have a bit, a bit of thickness in the thighs because overall the amount of weight that's distributed between the body, not always is this even. So it depends on how you want your character to be and all that good stuff. So that's just something to think about um, that I think everyone should think about honestly. I don't think his thighs are thick enough, but all right, this will do for now. And then we can just draw out his feet, which generally aren't too wild. It's, it's pretty simple. So we have that all down for the count. We're just thinking about just making sure that everything makes sense. Now the arms, so now that I understand how big the stomach is, because the problem came here was with how big I was gonna make the stomach because I wasn't sure how the, where the hands would go. So the hands also themselves, depending on the character, could be a little bit muscular, but they're definitely gonna be thick. 
So let's go down to the next first layer and make sure that we have our skeleton in place for those arms. So let's see. Maybe we can have him have like a little hand on his belly as well. That might be a little bit um, fun to do. So we can have him like that. And now we have the skeleton fully fledged out for the arms and such. So we can have really thick hands. I mean, really thick arms. And they're gonna go something like this. I'm probably gonna do like another one on body parts where I just talk about the hands and the eyes. Those ones will be a lot shorter because they won't be specific to body character types. So we'll have their arms just like that. It's pretty fit, like relatively, he's just a really big character. So like, depending on how big you wanna make your character, that is totally up to you, I would say. I think this is a good, like, a good place to start for your characters, just deciding to have some bigger characters. You know, I think that's something that more shows could could use, like especially ones that don't just use the big characters, the side character, or maybe like the comedy piece or whatever it is that they tend to use them for. All right, so, yeah, here. You have the fingers done. I'm not gonna go too detailed. All right, this, just make sure everything is generally proportional. I mean, we're never perfect. We're always trying to you know, strive to be better on this channel. All right, so we got the arms, we got the legs, we got the body. Now the face. Now the face, normally, what I've taught you guys in my other video is my general face here tends to be like this. How It can be like this, but I find that characters or uh, let me finish it up usually I go for like the simple you know simple face like that and also his neck might be a little bit more thicker due to having a little bit more girth now I'm gonna augment his face a little bit first of all I don't I think that he should have a little bit more curves in his face so we're gonna curve out the face like this boom and then we're gonna curve out the face like this. Boom, we're gonna add a little bit more chunk because like, I'll show you guys with some circles. What I wanna, what I'm trying to go for, right, is add a little bit more like plump in his face because overall there's a lot more meat to our character. And then we can erase, we can erase part of these circles, all right? Because now what I was going for was just getting like that nice little roundedness. And then we can come back in. Because we come back in and then we go back out. The lamb. So your head doesn't have to look like this. I just like accentuating like a lot more parts are rounded than they are. And then we're going to have our guiding lines like we talked about in the face. And then where does his chin go? There's a little chin right here which can supersede the neck because normally the face would have went outward so now we have our character we have the template for our character let's spend a little bit of time in time lapse filling it out and i'll be right back to you guys after i'm done this give me one second and we'll finish up the video at the end All right, so I'm gonna leave it here after that little time lapse. It should be a pretty apparent, like what I was going for. Um, very simple color scheme. Just remember, we're gonna take a little bit of a review right now. Think about the body frame, think about how big, uh, let's put some notes actually right here. Let's think about, constantly always think about, where's the
Think about the midsection, which is very important. Think about the thighs, they are also very important. The face is also important, it sells a lot of the weightiness of your character and how big that you want them to be. I think that depends on you. Thinking about the size, overall proportions should match to each other. It might be a little bit weird, but you could play with it too. Having a character have different sizes in different places, maybe that could be something to their character or a part of their overall aesthetic. I like for a nice uniform character, makes them really solid overall. But those are the things that I have to say today about how to draw a big character, remember them always, and I think in the coming weeks I'm going to change up this content to maybe focus more on body parts. This time we're going to look at more so like fingers, toes, legs, more like detailed anatomy which will help myself and help you become a better artist and that's what we like to do at this channel. So if you enjoyed what I had to say, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to hit that like button. I hope this taught you something. I had a great time doing this, and I think I'm going to put this character in um, my comic Infinity Love later in some chapters. I think I'm going to name him Cupid. Like, this is going to be his initial design because he's full of love. It's a nice, nice jumping off point. So yeah, guys, I'll talk to you into the next one. Into the next one? I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace, boy.